Hi, this is Little Dwarf playing games while rambling incoherently into a microphone. Why? Well, just because I can, and they continue with Arcanum of Steamworks and Magic Obscura Blind. Now, I'm currently trying to complete the path of enlightenment by getting the blessings of all of the older, of all of the pagan gods, all of the old gods of Arcanum. And I've com completed the first circle of goodness, therefore I have received the blessing of Halcyon, the god of truth. So if I consult the diagram that I will, that I will put on the screen in editing, because uh, I have it printed out uh, for myself, uh, at first I thought that now I should make an offering to the god Morindal, the god of shadows, who is represented by the moon. Uh, on the left hand side of the diagram uh, because in the book uh, about the pagan gods it says uh, that the 12 powers are flowing inward so I assumed I must go from the outer regions of the circles uh, inside but I tried to make an offer offering to Morindo and even though I had the correct offering the shrine, uh, nothing happened, I didn't got cursed or anything, but it, it displayed a message instead saying that even though I have a correct offering, uh, Morindal refuses to accept it. So it seems that it, it must be the other way around and the second circle would start with Torg, the god of the ogres, representing by the sc screaming head, uh, then Bolo, the god of thieves, represented by the hand, then Kerlin, the god of uh, gold and wealth, represented by the coin, and then um, Shakar, the god of uh, barbarians and war, represented by the ram's head, and then in the end of the, of the second circle would be Morindal, the god of shadows. So um, I fully expect this whole episode to be dedicated to completing the pilgrimage to the gods, so let's go towards Torg's altar. Stop, dwarf, if you want to live, give us 200 coin, and what if I want? Okay, I, I stopped because I was worried that, that Varamon is going to die. Oh wait, 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 are you telling me this whole time? They were wearing mail. Wait, 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 wait. Are you telling me this whole time forever uh, my enemies had a whole separate tab, which is their actual worn equipment, and I never in like one million years actually checked it? That's a little embarrassing actually, and I feel bad about it, but to be honest, uh, it seems to me my plate is actually better than this and I'm not going to carry it because I have plenty of gold as it is. However... Oh! Bone Dagger! That, that is great because one of the offerings, uh, 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 namely the offering to Shakar, the god of war, uh, is, is a bone weapon. His altar was, was saying about the shaft of bone uh, the handle of bone and the blade of steel. So it's basically a weapon that has a bone handle So it's great that I found it because to be honest that was the only object. I didn't know where to find uh, So I should be ready to make all of the offerings now uh, Stop if you want to live give us 200 coin. What if I want? <laughs> Yeah, they all have their unique uh, weapons and armor, and I never in a million years actually checked that in any of the fights I have had over the last, I don't know, 50 hours? So that's a little bit ridiculous. Mm, but oh well. I should have all of the necessary items to make all of the offerings. So... As is tradition at this point, let, let me make a manual save. Uh, because, as you can see, compared to the to the diagram, the uh, symbols are all wrong. 
it's very clearly a bug. Uh, so uh, Torg wants a ruby as an offering. You have received a blessing of Torg. Uh, so it seems I keep the blessing of Halcyon. And now I got a blessing of Torg as well, which I think is a bonus to constitution. Uh, so now it would be Bolo, the god of thieves. This is quite a trick, but at least I have a very clear goal, so I'm definitely eager to explore uh, the option of getting all of the blessings in the correct order before, damn it, I didn't want to stop, before departing for the island of Thanatos. Obviously I want to take care of all of my business on the continent before leaving, because to be honest, the quest to find Nasrudin's remains uh, seems rather final to me. It seems like like one of the last quests of the game, maybe? Uh, you know, well, maybe not one of the last, but uh, like a direct path towards uh, the ending. So, I would definitely prefer to... Uh, prefer to sort everything else out by the time by the time I leave okay so uh, Bolo wants the ring as an offering you have received a blessing Okay, so this is correct as well. I didn't save, but it's clear from the fact that I didn't get a curse that it was correct. So, what kind of... Okay, I've got no charisma. I think I got spot trap and pick locks. Okay. To be honest, none of those is particularly... I want a bonus to charisma to be able to upgrade my persuasion to master, master level. Mm -hmm. So now uh, it would be uh, Kerlin, the god of gold, whose altar is this way. It's a bit of a trek. Okay, let's continue.
small camp is visible from a distance. Apparently it's full of dead people. Human guard. Okay, so apparently it's just dead of it's uh, just full of dead humans. Oh well. Okay, a Kerlin wants a Menura coin as an offering. So I've received a blessing of Kerlin, uh, which gives me what exactly? Oh, it gave me a little bit of persuasion, I guess. So he, he, he's the god of gold, right? And and uh, uh, and god of gold and wealth. So maybe. That's why he gave me persuasion, but to be honest, I wanted charisma to be able to upgrade it fully myself, like entirely, all the way. Mm. Yeah, and he gave me a bit of haggle as well. Uh, so, now uh, it is Shakar's turn. So, Shakar is in Cree. <laughs> but at least I am, uh, you know, certainly sure of what I'm doing at this point. It's just a matter of traveling to all of the correct places, but uh, I'm sort of on my last stretch. As as far as finishing this quest about the gods is concerned. Of course, I don't know... I don't know where the altar of Velorian, the All Father, is. But it seems to me like something that might... Uh, no, that might become uh, become uh, clear in the progress of the main quest because I wasn't able to there's only one uh, part of the continent that I wasn't able to enter yet and that is the Wendy Groth wastes and I'm convinced that this place must become relevant later on in the plot, so hopefully uh, I'll be able to find the altar of the Old Father there. But obviously to, to, to receive the ultimate blessing of the Old Father, I need to receive all of the previous ones. Stop, if you want to live, give us 200 coin. What if I want? Mm, 
whatever you want. Okay, and a Shakar, the god of war, requires a bone handle, bo bone handle weapon as an offering. So I hope this bone dagger will be good. Magical, so I might actually I don't unidentified staff. I might actually pick it up to sell. Uh, so right now, I need to travel back to the shrine of Morindo, the god of shadows, and make an offering to him. if I want. basically has full plate uh, but it's large anyway so I wouldn't be able to to wear it we don't have any ogre followers mm, okay so this should be the last blessing of the second circle right a black diamond as an offering. Receive the blessing of Morino. You have completed the second circle, that of evil. Therefore, you receive the blessing of Morindo, the god of shadows. But still no charisma. Hmm. Backstabbing, which I'm not using. Yeah, overall pretty worthless, but hopefully the third circle and the actual ultimate blessing of the Old Father will make it worth it. Now, uh, as far as the, th the, s the third uh, circle is concerned, uh, obviously it's, it's, it's the innermost one, and it seems... Mm, it seems that some of those... Uh, well, actually, most of those gods repeat, but the question is, does it start with 
uh, Kaitan, which is the, the symbol of the world at the bottom, that would be my uh, interpretation at first, because the book says that it goes inwards, but it was a mistake I made with um, with Morindal already. Uh, I wanted to start the second circle from Morindal onwards, and in fact it was ending at Morindal. So if I were to follow that logic, it would be Alberich again, which is the bearded head, then Macal, which is the lizard, then Kerlin, which is the coin, then Bolo, which is the hand, and then finally uh, uh, Kaitan, which is the the globe. So let's try that because I'm actually pretty close to the wheel clan, so you know it's it's on my way anyway. Mm. So let's do it. I think I have all of the items necessary to make enough offerings because I'm pretty sure I picked up two lava stones unless I th threw it out or something. I will see in a moment. Mm. Let me see here. Yeah, I've got another lava stone, a Menura coin for uh, Kerlin, a geode for Kaitan, a, coi a, a ring for Bolo, and then what else was there? Ah, a hearthstone for uh, for Macal. Now that one might be a problem, but uh, there were hard stones lying uh, through the, the Bedokan village itself, so hopefully there are still more to be found, and I can just look around and pick another one up. Mm, this is actually a wrong direction. Stone. I received the blessing of Alberi. Uh, okay, so this is correct as well. So now it's uh, Macau, then Kerlin, uh, then Bolo, and finally Kaitan. The, the, the route is a bit convoluted. I'm going all over the world pretty much. But hopefully, you know, if they're all cumulative, all of the blessings in the end, then hopefully it's going to be worth it. What 
is it you need? Okay, so let me look around the village to see if I can find any more hard stones. Mm, it's probably going to be easier than it. I cannot wait here. Anything new from the chief? Nope. Good luck to you. May the snake fathers guide your path. Okay, there is another hearthstone, so great. Oh, there is yet another. I will actually pick it up just in case. Okay, so a Macau uh, wanted a hard stone as an offering. Yeah, received uh, the blessing of Macau. So it's Kerlin now. Kaitan at the pass, and that would be all besides the old father himself. Mm, but obviously, I don't don't yet know where the shrine of the old father is. Hmm, hopefully, if I get all all three blessings, I get I get a plus one bonus to charisma. Which would allow me to get persuasion to maximum uh, and thereby get the quest from Mr. Willowspy, the chairman of the Tarantian Industrial Council, to represent Tarant in negotiations with Caledon.
That's actually not where I wanted to travel, it was here. offering I need to go to Gorgoth Pass and make an offering of a geode at the altar of Kaitan This might be potentially useful armor, so let's... Let's give this to someone. Oh, apparently she prefers to use the staff. Well, I guess it's better than the dagger. I didn't give her a sword or anything. But it's still not not optimal. Hmm. Unidentified armor. Okay, I will take it. So was the altar down here? Hmm, I don't think so. over here. Okay, so Kaitan wants a geode as an offering. So, you've uh, completed the third circle, that of neutrality, therefore you received the blessing of Kaitan, goddess of balance, 
So let's see what that entails. Oh, great! It not only gives me a point of charisma, but it also gives me a full point of persuasion? Wait, or does it? Wait. Wait, 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 what's happening here? Could I always do that? What? What's 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 happening? Can I take away the points I spent in skills that I got a blessing in, or or is this a bug? So, uh, right away, I put three points into nothing, basically. Uh, let me just reload to be sure. Mm. Okay, so give a geode here. So it should be full, right? If I can get the quest in Tarant from Mr. Willow's Pie, then it would mean it is full. Uh, uh, so then I will be able to spend my point of uh, charisma, I mean point, po character point on something else, right? For example, bringing my dexterity back, back to 20, because it actually gives a rather huge boost to speed. Uh, but for now I will keep it, because I'm not sure, to be honest, what is happening. Uh, but the, the most important thing is I've got the correct blessing. So let me travel to the other side of the mountains and go back to Tarant to see if, if I can get the quest to represent Tarant in negotiations with Caledon. also probably do some shopping because I can see that most of my followers are very heavily encumbered. So it just so happens I'm pretty close to Shrouded Hills anyway. So again, I will, as, as, as always, I will speed up the actual, uh, the actual shopping because it's pretty boring. This might be a quest item. Uh, it is a uh, it is a, a necklace that belonged to the daughter of King Praetor of uh, Cumbria, uh, and it was given to her by someone called Prince August Farad. So if I ever meet him, I might be able to ask about it. Okay, so I guess I have to sell the rest to Reese's. Uh, so I can give the dagger back to her because she currently has no weapon at all. Uh, which one of those bows would be better? Speed 20, Elements bow. Okay, so I can give that to him. Mm. Can I craft?
craft an axe or, or a sword. Nope. Because, you know, they wouldn't require uh, Raven and, mm, mm, and Varroan would require regular melee weapons as well. To be honest. zero gold, so it's not that great. <laughs> A bunch of cursed items that I sold him before, but he has an oak axe handle, so I am going to buy this, as well as the hilt from, from the other guy, because with this I will be able to make a featherweight axe, if I take dwarven ore from him. So I can give this to Varamon when he runs out of runs out of you know what uh, runs out of arrows, which is going to be soon. Uh, yeah, I don't think I need this anymore, so I'm going to just throw it away. Okay, to be honest, let me sell more things. It will be easier to organize my equipment after that. Okay, do I want anything from him? Not that much, to be honest. Although... And I will buy this iron ore. And the... Does he have the... Hilt? For the balanced sword? Hmm, doesn't look like it. she's intent on wearing the plate mail. I'm not sure if it if it lowers her ability to cast spells. It isn't very clearly uh, described. Uh, however, he should have the axe as a backup when he runs out of arrows. Oh, I guess maybe he thro th throws away his, he, he threw away the bow because he didn't have space in his inventory. So I need to sell something from him. I guess I will sell this. So presumably something else should be thrown out as well. Okay, this might not be enough space for a bow still. So... Is this enough space? Nope. Okay, this should be enough space, indeed. Mm. Okay, so I think I will do the rest of the shopping in Tarant, because obviously the merchants here have run out of money. Uh, and I am going to Tarant anyway, to talk with Mr. Willowsby 
of the Gnome Industrial Council. Okay, what's the news actually? Need, need a paper? Let me see your newspapers. Uh, I'm looking for the headline of today's paper. Uh, Noted professor dies tragically. Want to buy this? Yes. Uh, let's read it. Noted professor dies tragically. Untested theories lead to a terrible end. All Arcanum laments the passing of Professor Jules Vorvinstern. Uh, originator of the magical firearm, at the Professor Vorwinstern's most recent trial of his weapon in the Kenningston Square, there was an unfortunate and rather frightening turn of events. According to the Magus Pride, uh, Professor Vorwinstern's mentor in all of things magical, the magical and technological forces negated each other and allowed the extraordinary event to occur, uh, exclaimed engineer Herbie Bumber. I told him I told him it wouldn't work. Damned magickers, my pipes got more sense. According to the onlookers, Professor Vor Vorvenstern was heard murmuring about hexagrams, bats' blood and inversion of ratios just as he fired the weapon. Now that his records have been thrown open to scrutiny, we can ascertain that he intended to have uh, his demon his demon invert itself, thus acquiring technological affinity. The demon, bored with long moments of servitude and not desiring inversion, instead murdered the professor with a sharp pencil found nearby. Uh, said the demon, a magical gun, who would want the damn thing anyway before disappearing in a cloud of smoke? Although unquestioned thoroughly, the smooth, uh, the smoothborn musket declined to comment. <laughs> okay. Uh, okay, I think Varamon will have enough space for one more paper. And now, General Store. Will he buy any of those? Uh, he will buy the staff, which is with something at least. He has 200 arrows, I'm actually going to buy them all. It's not going to, to last me long, but... Uh, but oh well, it's better than nothing. Okay, so I can give them to uh, Varomon, or I guess I can... Oh, sure, let's give it all to, them, to him. He's going to waste it all in no time anyway. Uh, this sells suits and the like, so I doubt he's going to buy armor uh, for me. Yeah. No armor. Uh, gears and gadgetry. Herbalist. Uh, miracle cure. I don't know what it does, so I don't particularly care. What about you? Uh, clockwork, clockwork physician. Okay, that, that sounds interesting. 
Uh, so sure. Sure, let's buy it. And see what it does. Uh, ever been in the midst of battle and find yourself without the time to uncork the heal potion? If so, then the Clockwork Physician is just what you're looking for. Made from standard Clockwork decoy and the Wonder Drug, this little miracle senses when you're hurt and appro applies the appropriate dosage. Oh, so it's like an auto-injector of medicine. Basically, I don't need to click. It just does it anyway when it senses I'm low on health. Mm. But what I need now is a smith, to be honest, which I think is further this way. Yeah, yeah, magic armory. Although I would also like the regular armory, as it were. Hmm. Yeah, he's not interested in any of those. Scrolls. Oh, scroll of resurrect. To be honest, raises the target from the dead. Because my problem is, my followers refuse to, to actually, uh, to actually use that spell. Virgil had the resurrect spell, but he never, never used it. So, to be honest, I'm kind of tempted to buy at least one. I think I will. Uh, Hopefully I can use it, even not being a magician myself. Uh, I did use a scroll once or twice. I remember summoning some undead to help me in a fight. Uh, Mage's dagger, mana 10. That's potentially useful as well for a caster. Mm, I will buy that for uh, Yoramund. It's pretty cheap. Because I don't think he has a weapon. Okay. Okay, have this and have this. Shield of force. Uh, energy damage one to ten to attacker. Hmm, I might buy that for Logare? Although wait, doesn't he have a slight technological attitude uh, just from being a dwarf? 100 arrows, okay, sure. Mm, sure, why not? Uh, let's give it to her. Smith enchanted war boots, uh, elven boots. And bonus pickpocket. Not particularly interested in that. Sword of Defense, plus 15 armor class. Interesting. Mage Stagger. Mm. Yeah, okay, I'm not going to buy anything else, I don't think. I would, however, like to find a regular blacksmith to see if he would be interested in buying the items. this to see if I can make a, a sword for Raven. Mm, pure ore, hilt and guard. 
I could have sworn somebody had a pure ore. Well, I guess I can make pure ore, can I not? If I take steel as well. Oh, pure ore, okay. So let's give this to him. And now I just need a hilt. Which he should have, right? Yeah. Okay, arrows, sure, why not? Uh, hmm, he doesn't want any of those items. It's kind of annoying. Magnus have a lockpick? Because I specifically put some points into uh, lockpicking for him. Although I guess he uses mine, I think, whenever I... And the, skel the skeleton key is actually better. It gives plus 10, except uh, instead of plus 5. Sure, I'll do it right away. Okay, I didn't want to do that. I wanted to save. Mm. Okay, so I have. I guess I have to carry the armors for a bit until I find someone that would take them off me. Mm, so let me look for Willow Willow's by residence, which I do believe was somewhere close. Frank Franklin residence. Oh no 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 no! He was in the magistrate. He was in the magistrate over here. To, king, to kill King Farad, but I'm not sure if I want to tell him right now. I, I'm probably not going to do it myself. Well, first, a few questions. Of course, a few questions about Tarant. Uh, wait, I asked all of those questions. Where is the question to take part in the negotiations? Unified Kingdom, blah blah blah. I asked all of this already. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, we're in desperate need of a skilled diplomat to approach the king's advisors with our newest proposals. And uh, we're having trouble to finding a man who will successfully do so. I want to be the man. I, I, I had before, I had the option to propose myself. Hmm. Okay, this is pretty weird. And annoying. Because I specifically wanted to raise... Like, previously there was an option uh, and he always refused me because I didn't have the necessary skill. Hmm... Okay, I guess I will tell him about the conspiracy. Mr. Willowsby, there's a conspiracy to kill King Farad. Maybe it will recover that option somehow. What? What are you talking about? I've been approached by a man named Jenks. Tell him. Bloody hell, you've done the right thing, my boy. Where is Jenks? Just outside the corner. Loram, 
Go and take care of this traitor. We can't let this happen. Very well, very good, sir. Taran thanks you, my friend. You've done us a great service. Loren will make sure that nothing will come of this. Now, was there anything else I could help you with? Uh, yes, I would like to be the... whatever. I would like to be the representative. It has always given me the option. Let me save. Mm. And put that final, final, final point into persuasion. Why doesn't it appear? Hmm. It seems they still haven't arrested this guy. He's still standing here thinking I'm his ally, which is interesting. Oh. What the hell is happening? I murdered everyone in sight, which is definitely not something I was planning on doing. I had enough of this. It's, it's very clearly some kind of a bug, right? Wait, did I save after? Where's my autosave? Hmm. Okay, I'm seriously annoyed and I'm pretty sure th th this has to be a bug, right? Because I have not advanced the main plot, uh, as far as I know, and I specifically be remember him, uh, th there being an option to, to ask him to represent Tarant and him refusing me a number of times before, so I thought if I get my skill a higher, then I might be able to, you know, get the position in the end, but it seems uh, that it is kind of bugged, so I will travel to another location. Well, actually, let me do this this way. Save here, then uh, reload this for a... Although, no, what purpose... I, I didn't talk with him anyway, so... What purpose would it really serve? Let me travel to another location and then back or something. Maybe it will fix it. So I'm pretty sure there ha this has to be a bug, right? Why would he not even, not even give me the option? to ask again if uh, if he did allow to ask again uh, before he just refused me so why wouldn't there be no options now that I can actually do it That's kind of frustrating, but this episode has been long enough, I'm going to try again next time. For now, that's all for this one, and I will see you in the next one. Bye!